come aboard the ship are the pirates who don't do anything. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. And not so fast, you lazies. Today, we're doing a little something. Not again. We did something yesterday. Huh? All you did was order Chinese. Hey, it's hard to say, Mugu Gai Pan. Oh, I did it again. I'm beat. Here, have one time. Ooh. Over the past few months, we've asked our loving and loyal fans to cast their votes for their favorite silly song. Well, the votes are in, and now it's time to tally them all up in the astonishing contraption of silliness! What a lame name. Who came up with that? What? I liked it. One time? Ooh. <laughs> Let the silliness begin! Well, classics like... Everybody's got a water bubble. Oh, who could forget? Oh, where is my hairbrush? And it is! Watch the cucumber. Hey! Hey! bolts. Enough lollygagging, you slackers! It's time to shake a leg! Buccaneer Larry, man the boat sex! Aye, aye, Captain. Pirate Lunt, hoist the booster! Okay. Well, let's go over the rules, shall we? We'll put your votes into the astonishing contraption of silliness. The astonishing contraption of silliness will count your votes, and then the astonishing contraption of silliness will count down to the silliest silly song of all time! That's it! The polls are closed. Oh, great! Well, the moment has arrived. Buccaneer Lunt, the lever! We join Larry as he follows the tragic saga of Barbara Manatee in the daytime drama, Endangered Love. Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me. Manatee, you've been so good to me, but I must go into the world and do noble things for the good of all. And you can't come because you don't speak French. Au revoir. But if you leave, Bill, who will take me to the ball? Who's going to take me to the ball, Bill? I have a new dress and shoes, a new manatee lipstick. Who will take me to the ball? Take you to the ball, Barbara Manatee! Please don't go! I must! Don't go! I must! Don't! Must! Don't! Don't! Must! Must! Barbara Manatee! Manatee! You are the one for me! One for me! One for me! Sent from up above! things for the good of all. Yes, but first, Bill, will you take me to the ball? Oh, Bill, will you take me to the ball? I can't dance. You can't? No. I must go. Please don't go. I must. Don't go. I must. Don't. I must. Don't. Don't. Must. Must. Barbara Manatee. 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 You are the one. Larry? What are you doing? Jeff, watching a little TV, Bob? Well, maybe you should read a book. Yeah, okay. The 
This has been Silly Songs with Lamb. Tune in next time to hear Bill say... Uh, Barbara, I've learned to dance. Oh, Bill. Number nine. The Dance of the Cucumber. Larry will be performing the traditional Argentinian ballad, The Dance of the Cucumber, in its original Spanish. Bob the Tomato will translate. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. See mueven, how he moves. Un león, like a lion tras un chasing a mouse. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. Que suave es oh, how smooth his motion. Como like butter and on, chango, on a pelon. bald monkey. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. Los all the vegetables. Envy their friend. Wishing bailar. to dance as he. Pepino Dancing cucumber. Pepino Dancing cucumber. Pepino Dancing cucumber. Baila, baila dance, ya. dance, yeah. Miren el tomate. Look at the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede bailar. He can't dance. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. El desearía poder bailar como el pepino. He wishes he could dance like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danzar. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. What do you mean I can't dance? I can dance? Well, what about Uncle Louie's polka party? Didn't you see me dancing at Uncle Louie's polka party? No comprendo. No comprendo? I'll show you no comprendo! Mom! Dad! Look over here! Get a picture of me next to the cucumber in authentic Argentina garb! Okay, Junior. But we better hurry. I think the dwarves have your mother confused with someone else. <laughs> Say peas. Peas. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Oigan su Hear voz fuerte. his strong voice. Like a lion. Listo a devorar. About to eat. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. El dulce a su How canto. sweet his voice. Es el the breath from his throat is like a chorus trina. of little birdies. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Los All the vegetables envy their friend, wishing to sing as he. Pepino singing cantador. cucumber, Pepino singing cantador. cucumber, Pepino singing cantador. cucumber, Can sing, sing, yeah. Escuchen al tomate. Listen to the tomato. Es Isn't it sad? Él no puede he can't sing. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. El desearía poder cantar. He wishes he could sing. Fuerte y luce como el pepino. Strong and sweet like the cucumber. Pero no puede. But he can't. Ni siquiera da un solvido. Can't even whistle. All right, that's it, senor. Come over here and let me sing you a song. Adios, amigos. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Bob is really angry. I hope he doesn't catch me. It's so hard to run with the sombrero on my head. Number one. Laddie's High Silk Hat. Waiting for the trolley, he had a hat, my high silk hat. He wore it high upon his head so proudly, a beautiful hat, my high silk hat. A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly, now fancy this and fancy that. The splendor of this hat in all its majesty, like a king in a royal cap. I feel so swell and handsome in my hat. I bet that others wish they had. In fact, a hat as this, a hat as that, a hat so fine, a high so hat. Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Now his hat was not all he wore so proudly. I must, in fact, share more than that. For upon his lap, the sat to treat so fondly of chocolate this and chocolate that. 
deliciousness that makes him feel so dandy. A chocolate bliss, a chocolate snack. Upon his hat. And a chocolate snack. So beneath his hat he put and pondered. What should I do to save my hat? He thought and contemplated as he perspired beneath his hat. Upon his hat. He feared his chocolate treats would soon retire and to a pool. A chocolate bag. I won't feel grand if I take off my hat. The sun's getting hot. Well, not like that. Oh, hurry, Mr. Trolley, before my dad bird is goes flat. He decided to forego his looks so dashing to save his hat. And he just snack. So he placed the treats upon the seat beside him and put his hat on top of that. Oh, please. Oh, please, oh, please. Don't anybody sit close to me, sit close to me. upon my hat. Upon my hat. I ask if all of you could be so kind. What's your name? They've never given me a name. I've been around since show one, and I still don't have a name. Now, what do you think of that? The dance of the Golden Sabooners. Hold it! Stop the countdown! Uh, I don't understand. Uh, there must be some mistake. I, I think perhaps the astonishing contraption of silliness may need some recalibrating. This ought to do it. The Water Buffalo Song. Oh, that's a nice one. The grandfather of silly songs. The one that started the whole thing. Let's pause for a moment of respect, shall we? That's enough. Hit it! The Water Buffalo Song. Everybody's got a water buffalo. Yours is fast, but mine is slow. Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know. But everybody's got a water buffalo. Ooh. I took my buffalo to the store. Got his head stuck in the door. Spilled some lima beans on the floor. Oh, everybody's stop got it. a... Stop, stop right this instant. What do you think you're doing? You can't say everyone's got a water buffalo and everyone does not a water buffalo. We're going to get nasty letters saying, where's my water buffalo? Why don't I have a water buffalo? And are you prepared to deal with that? I don't think so. Just stop being so silly. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. everybody got a baby kangaroo. You're the feet, but mine is blue. Ah! Number six. The Yodeling Veterinarian of the Alps. There lived a man so long ago, his memories but faint. Was not admired, did not inspire, like president or saint. But people came from far and near with their afflicted pets. For a special cure, they knew for sure, would it come from other pets. Whoa!
He's gone a little loopy, in case you haven't heard. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. No skeptic could explain just how, nor could one of three but The wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut Some would stand in silence while some just scratched their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc! He's up and kicking! Jump in your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. The practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day. When a nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay. The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp, then said, no way, Jose! To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps! Whoa! Good news on the kitty, Doc. She's feeling great. Six kittens. Named one after you. Oh yeah, that'll work. He's good. Now the moral of our story, it's the point we hope we've made. When you go a little loopy, better keep your nurse well paid. Stand in silence while some just scratch their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Number five The song of the Sabu Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Larry the Cucumber presents in a sequential image stereophonic multimedia event, The Song of the Sabu. This is a song about a boy. A song about a little boy and his sabus. A song about a little boy and his three sabus. The little boy who had a thick sabu, a sad sabu, and a mute sabu. And also a hippo. Um, um, this is me at the airport. This is my Aunt Ruth. This is me at a bullfight. This is me fighting a bull. <laughs> this is me and the bull. Ah! This is me and the bull, and I think that's the bull's cousin. He's a sabu. Hold it! You call this a multimedia event? This is a slide projector and a bed sheet. And what on earth is a sabu anyway? It's kind of like a cow. See? Yes. Well, very good. Uh, this could be interesting. Carry on.
boy is riding with Sabu. Boy is riding with Sabu. Into town in his canoe. Into town in his canoe. Six Sabu is rowing and sneezing. A chumu mu, a chumu mu, a chumu mu, a chumu mu, mu mu. A chumu mu, 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 a chumu mu mu mu. If we're chewing on bamboo, if we're chewing on bamboo, can see boy in three Sabu. Can see boy in three Sabu. That Sabu is rowing and crying. Bahu mu mu, bahu mu mu, bahu mu mu, bahu mu 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 mu. Seen by Musabu. Seen by Musabu. Tries to tell the other two. Tries to tell the other two. Musabu is waving and grunting. Mm -hmm. bull again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. This is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look, a Cebu. Cebu. No, wait. That's a water buffalo. No more song about Cebu. Need another verse or two. Audience is standing and leaving. Bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, moo, moo. I want my money back. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. The song of the water buffalo you don't want to do with your own lips. Wait a minute! Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it appears we're experiencing technical difficulties once again. Buy me some time. Huh? What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Think of something. Come up with another one of those silly songs you're so famous for. But I didn't prepare anything. Oh, for Pete's sake. Here, use this. Chicken! Kung Pao. Chicken. Mongolian. Chicken. Sweet and sour. Chicken. Cashew. Chicken. Do the mooshu. Mooshu shu. Mooshu 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 Pork! Mandarin pork! Barbecued pork! Sweet and sour pork! Spicy shredded pork! Pork! Do the tofu! Tofu food! To 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 fu fu fo fo do to 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 fu fo! Stop! Break a fortune cookie! Beware of grape with wooden mallet. Ain't that the truth? That ought to do it. A nice try, but I don't think it'll make the countdown. Number four. Peace cheeseburger. He said to her, I'd like a cheeseburger. And I might like a milkshake as well. She said to him, I can't give you either. And he said, isn't this burger bad? She said, yes, it is, but we're closed now. But we open tomorrow at 10. He said, I am extremely hungry. But I guess I can't wait until then. Cause you're his cheeseburger. His yummy cheeseburger. He'll wait for you, ooh, yeah. He'll wait for you, ooh, oh. You are his cheeseburger. Till sunrise He may have dozed off once or twice 
When he spotted a billboard for Denny's Bacon and eggs for half price How could he resist such an offer? He really needed something to munch Cheeseburger, please do not get angry He'll eat and be back here for lunch Cause you're his cheeseburger His precious cheeseburger Be back for you, ooh He'll be back for you, ooh Won't be so long, cheeseburger One day, while talking with Dr. Archibald, Larry confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. Alrighty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lips moved to the loose, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it! Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad. I'd call my dad, that'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. I love my lips. Be lead that bop dee ba boo. Eebie that bop boo ba da boo bow. Yabba da bop dee ba bow boo bum dee ba 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 dow. Yabba da ba da ba boo 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 Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Laddie, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Larry, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue. What could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard, and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard, and it felt weird. She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lip stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed, and I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar, and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip, and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen, and when he did start speaking, he just spoke Polish, and I only know like three words in Polish, except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird, my friends all laughed. Woofda! I'm confused. I love my lips! This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my nose? Oh, look at the time! Bye, ba boo ba bili ba bili ba boo ba bili ba. There are only.
only two silly songs left, and we're still in it. One song will go home the loser, the other will go home as the silliest silly song ever, and the loser is... The Pirates Who Don't... Hold it! Stop the countdown! Maybe we didn't collect all the votes. What are you talking about? Sure we did. No, maybe we didn't. Did you remember to check the closet? There's nothing in the closet. <laughs> maybe there's more votes in the closet. Oh, look. Wait a minute. What's going on? We cannot allow our own negligence to violate the will of the people. Hey, I smell something fishy. Uh, that's your friend. Kung Pao Squid? Ah, uh, no. Number two. Hold it. Somebody has a confession to make, don't they? Don't they? Okay, okay, I rigged the election. That last bag of votes weren't official votes at all. They were all phony votes for our song. I'm appalled. I'm disgusted. You'll disgrace the proud title of pirate. Eh, uh, no, wait. Maybe not. I'm sorry. It's just that well, you've got your cheeseburger song, and you've got everything else, and, well, that song is all I had. Well, number two is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, that's really good. You think so? Oh, yeah. It sure beats the forgive o I heard that. Huh. I, I guess you're right. It is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, will you guys forgive me? Okay, oh, oh yeah, right. you will forgive you. Astonishing contraption of silliness. Will you forgive me? Yes. Oh, good. All right, already. Okay, let's set the record straight. The pirates who don't do anything. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lie around. And if you ask us who do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. Well, I've never been to Greenland, and I've never been to Denver, and I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul, and I've never been to Moscow, and I've never been to Tampa, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lay around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. I never hoist the mainstay and I never swab the poop deck And I never veer to starboard cause I never sail at all And I've never walked the gangplank and I've never owned that barret And I've never been to Boston in the fall Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything We just stay home and lie around And if you ask us to do anything We'll just tell you We don't do anything Well, I the rooster and I'm not too good at ping pong and I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall and I've never kissed the chipmunk and I've never gotten head lice and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Huh? What are you talking about? What the rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Hey, that's right. We're supposed to sing about piratey things. Oh, and who's ever kissed a chipmunk? That's just nonsense! Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it. You're walking the plank. Says who? Says the cabin. That's who? Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Burg! Plug and I've never sniffed a stink bug And I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball And I've never bathed in yogurt And I don't look good in leggings You just don't get it
And we've never been to Boston in the fall. Pass the chips. And now, the silliest silly song of all time. The hairbrush song. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out, Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 oh, where? Is my hairbrush? Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there! Back there is my hairbrush. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there, back there, oh where, back there, oh where, oh where, back there, back there, back there! Is my hairbrush? Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments, Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair! Larry is taken aback. The thought never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Larry wonders, No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 back there, no hair! For my hairbrush! Having heard his wonderings, Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses, Larry, that old hairbrush of yours, well, you never use it, you don't really need it, so, well, I'm sorry, I didn't know, but I gave it to the peach, because he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back and laments. Not fair, oh my hairbrush. Not fair, my poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out, Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, oh my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care. Take care, nice hair, no fair. Take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. Well, that's it! The Great Silly Song Countdown is complete! Thanks for voting, everyone! You guys are great! Yeah, thanks! I'm Cloud Squid. Sabu is rowing and sneezing. A chumumu at Fable. A chumumu at Fable. A chumumu at Barbara Manatee. You are the one for me. Sent from up above. You are the one I love. We are the
a beautiful hat A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly Now fancy this and fancy that The splendor of this hat in all its majesty Like a king in a royal cap I feel so swell and handsome in my hat I bet that others wish they had in fact My hat is this a hat is that a hat so fine a hat Snap.